Hello everyone, uh, this is Iran Talk and uh, in this video I'd like to uh, discuss the rise of the Medians and the rise of the Median Empire. Now, uh, you know, this is the second episode of my revived uh, history series. It's been quite a while since uh, I... Uh, you know, it's been a while since I actually covered uh, the topic of history extensively, you know. The last uh, major attempt I had uh, was uh, in uh, at around uh, February, March, where I was actually going to launch a history series. Unfortunately, due to some uh, unforeseen personal circumstances, I was unable to finish that series. I also, uh, my license for my uh, Premiere Pro ended, so, you know, I it's back to the usual uh, graphics. Uh, that's why... Uh, some of my recent videos, the quality uh, has not been as uh, great as uh, it once was, but nonetheless, I hope you still enjoy my content and uh, I'll uh, get into the uh, subject that matter right now. So essentially, uh, what we're dealing with uh, here is uh, Iran uh, in uh, the uh, 7th century BCE. What uh, happened was uh, prior to this, uh, you know, the Iranian tribes had been, uh, or Iranic rather, the Iranic tribes had been migrating to Iran uh, beginning in the uh, 12th and 11th century uh, BCE from the Anmirans of the Yaz horizon and they began establishing themselves in the plateau. The Persians established them in, uh, themselves rather in uh, southwestern uh, Iran, southern Iran, and uh, the uh, Medians uh, established themselves in uh, northwestern Iran and there were many other tribes as well, but obviously these two were the primary ones and now the Medians uh, were the first major ones uh, to establish uh, a significant presence uh, in the region you know they established the very first uh, you could say empire uh, you know many other historians have argued that the Median uh, kingdom was not really an empire but rather a collection of loose uh, tribal lords uh, pledging uh, allegiance uh, to the uh, Median aristocracy but nonetheless I think the Median Empire can be, well, I think the Median state can be classified as an empire and uh, yeah, essentially, you know, its establishment uh, was uh, in 678 uh, BCE by the first Median uh, king, uh, Diocese, and uh, you know, he was uh, actually the very first uh, Shah of an Iranian state within uh, the Iranian plateau, centered within the Iranian plateau. The Median uh, capital was at Akbatana to modern-day Hamadan, also known as Hagmatana, which was uh, its uh, term in Old Persian. And uh, this was a major center of uh, Iranian civilization, especially during the early period. You know, it was, it was one of the major native Iranian cities uh, alongside Persepolis that uh, really was uh, at the heart of uh, Iranian civilization. And essentially, what uh, you had here was... Uh, Herodotus, Herodotus uh, actually mentioned, uh, you know, he 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 mentioned that uh, diocese turned uh, the Medians into a single nation and ruled uh, them over them alone, which meant that he was likely uh, their king, you know, and uh, you know under him he had various, uh, you know, various other uh, tribes, including the Magi, who would later obviously come to dominate. Uh, you know, dominate uh, Zora the Zoroastrian priesthood, and uh, the term Magi later became associated between with the uh, Zoroastrian priestly class. So essentially, the arrival of the Medians uh, into the Iranian plateau allowed them to absorb many of the native uh, already established Iranian Iranian. Uh, well, they can't really be classified as Iranian because, as you know. They were not Iranic speakers, but the native tribes I'm talking about, such as the Gutians as well as the Kassites, you know, they absorbed most of these tribes and uh, they formed uh, the uh, Median uh, kingdom or empire, as I previously stated. And actually, you know, uh, there were also the Orartrians and uh, they absorbed all of these native peoples under their rule. And uh, the uh, uh, Median Empire truly exceeded, uh, reached its peak under uh, the rulership of Saya Sheris. And, uh, you know, the, he really was the individual who uh, brought, uh, helped bring an end to the uh, Assyria, the Neo-Syrian Empire. Obviously, in my uh, previous episode, I discussed uh, the major battle uh, which led to the uh, decline of uh, the uh, Neo-Syrians, uh, the Battle of uh, Nineveh in 612 BCE, which led to the sack of uh, the city and the ultimate collapse of the uh, Neo-Syrian Empire. But anyways, uh, 
Sayashiris uh, was uh, proceeded over uh, the uh, uh, Median Empire at its peak. Uh, you know, he really allowed the Medians to assert themselves uh, in the region, and uh, he, because of him, uh, the Iranian tribes for the first time in their history, rather the Iranic tribes for the first time in their history, were able to assert dominance over their Near Eastern neighbors, their native uh, Semitic neighbors, and this was another major. Uh, great uh, achievement of uh, the Sayashiri. So yeah, essentially, he was uh, the man who really uh, put uh, media on the map. Unfortunately, uh, after his death in 585 BCE, his son Astyages would rule over an empire which would ultimately fall uh, to the Persians, who were another tribe, as I mentioned, settled in uh, southern Iran. And the rise of the Persians ultimately sealed the end of the uh, uh, Median Empire and the rise of the Achaemenid Empire and the Achaemenid state was much different than the Medians because uh, while the Medians were were still largely while I consider them an empire I would still say they were largely a tribal confederacy the Achaemenids were the first major empire in the world and the first uh, major Persian or Iranian empire after you know they, they are the more traditional uh, I was gonna say they are the more traditional uh, form of empire but if you consider the Median uh, Kingdom, which uh, was uh, largely composed of uh, tribal, uh, you know, tribes uh, under one uh, ruler uh, as an empire, then the Medians were, of course, uh, the first Iranian empire. But the first actual uh, Iranian empire, according to most uh, historians, is obviously the Achaemenid Empire, which uh, emerged in 550 BCE and lasted uh, until uh, its conquest by Alexander the Great uh, in the uh, 4th century BCE and uh, that is uh, pretty much it uh, for this episode I know I haven't really uh, gotten in too far uh, into this and uh, you know I, I, I really wanted to cover the medians in depth but I think it's good if we have just uh, you know if I just have a 10 minute episode per uh, you know per uh, topic but um, the uh, history of the Achaemenids will definitely be broken down much better you know it will not uh, consist solely of uh, one episode and uh, looking forward I think uh, you know this is going to be a really great thing I'll try to upload as frequently as I can you know these uh, next few weeks and uh, hopefully things go uh, work out well for my series uh you know i uh, just uh, recovered from uh, this really weird uh, you know situation i was going through but i'm glad that it's been solved now and uh, essentially i think that uh, moving forward uh, you know i really appreciate that uh, you know many iranians appreciate my work and support my work and uh, you know if there's anything else uh, you'd like me to discuss uh, you can ask and uh, one final thing I actually wanted to uh, discuss was uh, the origins of the Kurds now that's another interesting aspect uh, to consider here one of the uh, most interesting things is that many Kurdish nationalists uh, claim uh, a great deal of descent from the Medians and claim that the Medians were ancestral to themselves and now while uh, there may be some truth to this, uh, the uh, Kurds themselves are amalgamation of uh, various peoples, not only the Medians, but also the Hurrians, the Urartrians. It depends where they are situated. Uh, you know, the Kurds from Iran, I think they have more Median ancestry than the neighboring Kurds, but nonetheless, I think Kurds are just a hodgepodge of various different, uh, you know, Iranian, like various different uh, tribes in the region, uh, Iranic tribes, non-Iranic tribes, you know, that's essentially it. I think the Azeris have a well, the Azeris from Iran uh, have a greater claim uh, to having Median ancestry. I think most of their ancestors were definitely of Median stock, and uh, you know, uh, it's it's the same thing with Persians as well. You know, like are most uh, Persian speakers really uh, the original Persians descended from them? I don't know. I think only most of the Persians in southern Iran could be considered uh, largely a Persian uh, ancestry. The remainder are just Persianized tribes. You know, even uh, the Tajiks and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I was going to say the Tajiks uh, are not really descended of, from these early Persian tribes. They may speak uh, the, the Persian language, but nonetheless, the Tajiks are actually descendants of uh, Eastern Iranian speakers such as the Sogdians and the Bactrians and uh, unfortunately they were Persianized but nonetheless uh, today it's very hard to say what the ancient group uh, is a uh, is in correspondence to what modern group and I think it's wrong to say that you know the the, the uh, Medians were Kurds or uh, you know the 
uh, Persians of today are the same exact uh, descendants. Every Persian uh, speaker today is descended from the ancient Persians because obviously that's not true. Uh, there were many other Iranian tribes who were later absorbed by uh, the Persians and that's why most of Iran speaks Persian uh, today and this was largely achieved uh, through assimilation and uh, I think even uh, you know the Kurds there were many uh, uh, you know uh, migrations into what is today uh, you know Kurdistan well it's not a nation but what uh, where the uh, Kurdish uh, nation largely resides and uh, you know even the Parthians you know the Parthian language is actually ancestral I believe to the Kurdish language so you know there are many uh, tribal uh, you know you can make many claims for the Kurds and say what their ultimate origins are but again I, I think it's wrong for modern uh, you know nationalists to ascribe themselves to one particular ancient uh, people which yeah that's uh, essentially it uh, i don't have anything else to say you know i really just want to thank everyone for all the love and support you've been giving me these past few months i really appreciate it and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it for my episode and uh, take care and uh, till next time